Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, my dear students, and welcome to a new lesson. Lesson number eight. The title of this lesson is Origins of Man. So, this lesson will be interesting because we want to know uh, how or what is the origin of man, I mean human beings. Let's read number A. Here we have a text, we have to read it and after that we can complete the timeline. Read the text. Then complete the timeline above with the correct headings from the text. If you notice my students here we have some spaces in this time or timeline. One, two, three, four and five. After reading we can complete the timeline. Picking man. The remains of more modern Homo erectus was found near Beijing in China. This man lived about half a million years ago. His brain was larger still 1050 cubic centimeters. More stone, stone tools suggest a simple life spent hunting animals and gathering food for family life. There is evidence of the use of fire. Homo sapiens. As time passed, his brain grew larger and man became more skillful with tools. Around 250,000 years ago, Homo erectus evolved into Homo sapiens. Homo habilis. The oldest fossil remains of man found so far date back to two or three million years. They were discovered in Olduvai Gorge, East Africa, in the 1970s. The evidence shows that man was walking on two feet. With his hands free, a long time ago his brain was about 750 cubic centimeters in size. His teeth and his his teeth and the simple stone tools suggest he was a meat eater. Homo erectus further finds in East Africa suggest the existence of Homo erectus around one and a half million years ago. He stood and walked upright. His brain was larger. 900 cubic centimeters and he used a great variety of tools. Modern man Evidence dating from 90,000 years ago shows how old man was evolving. In Europe he was able to survive the ice ages. He used stone and bone for tools and made bread mounds and made burial mounds for the dead. There is evidence of religious belief in the art found in caves dating back 35,000 years. Over a period of 3 million years, brain size had almost doubled to 1,300 cubic centimeters. Now let's come back to the timeline. Here we have 3 million, the meaning is 3 million years ago, then 2 million, 1 million, 500,000 years, 250,000 years till now. We have to complete these spaces with the correct word. So here are the answers. Number one, Homo Havels.
Number two, Homo erectus. Three, picking man for Homo sapiens and modern man. We can put these words in the correct order of them. Now let's do practice number B. Read the text exercise number A again, then complete this summary. We have read the text earlier, so there is no need to read this again. And now we want to complete this summary. Over a period of 3 million years, Man has evolved in several ways. To begin with, he stood and walked. Yes, upright. He walked, stood and walked upright, upright. His teeth. His teeth showed that his diet included meat meat he learned how to use fire how to use fire for cooking all the time he was learning how to make better and better tools out of stone the use of metal came later Eventually, he started to develop language and did some drawing and painting. The art found in caves, caves expresses his religious beliefs, beliefs, and he had started to bury the dead. He started to bury the dead. For archaeologists. The most significant change was the increase in the size of his brain. <clears throat> now I will read this again. Over a period of 3 million years, man has evolved in several ways. To begin with, he stood and walked upright. His teeth showed that his diet included meat. He learned how to use fire for cooking. All the time he was learning how to make better and better tools out of stone. The use of metal came later. Eventually, eventually he started to develop language and did some drawing and paintings. The art found in caves expresses his religious beliefs and he had started to worry that did. For archaeologists, the most significant change was the increase in the size of his brain. So here you can see the nine spaces or the nine words which are put in the previous spaces. The first one is upright. Then we have teeth, meat, fire, tools, caves, beliefs, teeth and a brain. Let's do the next one. Number C. And this is up to you my students to do it yourselves. But I want to read it. Then, after that, I want to move to the workbook. The summary, the summary in exercise number B describes past changes. Work in pairs. Use your imagination to discuss possible changes in the future. Here we have some examples like, our brains will get smaller because computers will do all the work. Maybe, maybe our brains will get smaller and smaller because computers will do everything or let's say our teeth will last longer because we'll eat pills instead of food our teeth will last yes longer because we will eat pills 
instead of food so we can keep them for a long period of time and maybe in the future we can live for 100 or at the age of 100 years now let's move to the second book I mean the workbook in exercise number A we have your teacher will divide you into two groups group number A read text number A and group B read text number B then ask the questions that go with your text group number A read Horsa's description of a day in his life it takes place 11,000 years ago in Central Europe then answer questions from 1 to 8 about Horsa's people the questions are did they cook on fire did they have a permanent home did they keep domestic animals did they eat meat did they grow corn did they eat berries and nuts did they use tools and did they trade with other families the text number a is my family is always on the move we have arrived at some caves where we will sleep tonight so we do not need to make a shelter with stones skins and branches two other families are with us my father and the other men spend most of the time hunting for meat we followed the reindeer herd we followed the reindeer herd across the plain today and we all helped the men to catch and kill one of the animals my father's good hunter he has he has spears with sharp points made from flint stones. He will make the fire to cook the meat on with the flint. My mother, sisters, and the other women collected plants, roots, berries, and nuts on the way. Tonight we will have a feast now let's come back to the questions the eight questions number one did they cook on the fire yes they did two did they have a permanent home no they they no they didn't because they have a temporary home temporary they are not permanent three did they keep domestic animals no they didn't they depended depended on hunting four did they eat meat did they eat meat yes they did did they grow corn no they didn't six did they eat berries and nuts yes they did they ate berries and nuts did they use tools yeah they used tools did they trade with other families no they didn't here are the eight answers to the previous questions you can check your answers up and you can compare your answers with, with these and you can write them on your books 
Now let's move to the second group, group number B. Read Mina's description of a day in her life 9,000 years ago in the Fertile Crescent. Then mark the sentences true or false. True or false. For false F and for true T. Let's read the text first. We live in our own hut. Hut means an old, old home. We built it ourselves with wooden poles and branches and used basket, wo basket work on the walls. Ours is one of my hut of many huts. There are several families here. There are a lot of my a lot of families here in this area. You might almost call it a village. We have a good supply of water from the nearby river. Nearby means near or next to. It's not far. It's near. We grow wheat and barley nearby. We are also growing peas, beans and other vegetables. If we have enough, we barter with another village. Barter with another village. Today, mother used some flour to make bread. She enjoys cooking and the fire is always burning. She has some fine pots. This morning, my father went off hunting with some other men. They are equipped with bows, arrows, and spears. Bone and flint are used for arrow heads. I have just collected some fish from our trap in the river and I have fed our sheep and goats as well. Now, the first sentence. People lived in caves. No, it's false. It's false. Why? Because they lived in huts. Number two, each family had their own territory. False. Three, water was drawn from a well. No, it's false. Water was drawn from a river, nearby river. Number four, crops included wheat, barley, peas, and beans. Yes, that's true. People used pots for cooking. Hey, yeah. Excellent, that's true. Number six, men caught fish using bows and arrows. No, that's false. Why? Because... They cut fish, yeah, using wet, using trap. And number seven, some domestic animals lived in the village. It's true. It was possible to trade with another village. And this is a true sentence. Now after, right, after doing this exercise exercise number b we can conclude our lesson but we have to make a revision over the previous ideas and the previous new words so study them again and again and don't waste your time here and there my esteemed students and finally i want to say to everybody of you good bye